Hey, N2QOJ here. I'm going to give you a little tour of my setup here for International Space Station. And we could see here, let's see what I've got. All you need to capture a slow scan from the International Space Station is an FM transceiver. I'm capturing the audio output from the speaker directly to the in line input of the Soul in One computer. This program is MMS, MMSSTV, an older program, but it does great. It's got all the major uh, slow scan TV uh, modes. It's in an automatic mode and it selects automatically what the um, sh uh, space station is doing, which is PD120. This is the window right now in receive mode where it's coming in live from the space station. Here you can look at the properties of the audio tones and signal and so forth. Okay, And there's various other utilities. This program is also can be used for transmission, so you can via HF or FM, but mostly HF, a lot of people do on 20 meters and so forth. They'll send the pictures back and forth to each other, that kind of thing, without the internet. This program is a um, orbital tracker, satellite tracker, called NOVA. It's an older program from Northern Lights. What it's showing here is the radio visibility window of um, the space station right now. And you can see where my location, Mesa, Arizona, and you can see where the space station is right now. There's other information in the window. For example, um, for the ISS, uh, the capture time and uh, acquisition of signal and loss of signal time for this pass, the window is in blue. It's highlighted. That means that it's um, within range for us. That picture is just finished. I'm going to clear it, and there's going to be another one starting very soon. There's always a delay between it. We should be able to capture three pictures or so. Uh, each one takes 120 seconds to come. With the stops in between, we should be able to grab three. Uh, on this window is a program called Orbitron, a newer version of Orbital. Or or yeah of satellite tracking and they all have some great modes and uh, utilities and notifiers and all kinds of stuff and you can display these world maps and so forth in many different ways for example here I can also display it as a sphere okay and then we have here from the heavens above website and there's a 3d rendering of um, of the track of the ISS right now. On its left is, uh, uh, let's see, Baja, California. On its very left there. You'll notice that the uh, ISS is a dark color, which signifies the nighttime. Light color, bright color would be daytime. Okay, so those are just uh, three different ways of tracking. But the NOVA program <clears throat> and Orbitron, but NOVA. Uh, here comes another picture, and it's starting. But the NOVA program also has capabilities for um, uh, all kinds of things like uh, automatic control of um, uh, AZL um, rotors. It has all that kind of stuff built in, antenna rotors. It has lots of different interfaces built in. Still an extremely popular program and um, well made. It holds up very well to today. Yes, indeed. Okay, um, that's all. That's it. Basically, you can even capture this audio acoustically just through your microphone on um, your computer or your laptop. Uh, there's a software also available for um, Android phones and, and iOS based phones. Uh, where you can hook up or listen acoustically and capture and decode slow scan TV, as well as many other digital modes. Uh, there's an NFL Digi variant for Android phones, too. Anyway, that's a quick snapshot. Uh, there's lots of information on the web and videos. Just um, search for MMS TV usage. That's the program, how to use that program or just ISS tracking, you'll find lots of great stuff. That's it from N2QOJ.
Seven three. Stay well.